Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel, Hazel and Aka Design. This is one of those oh happy day kind of videos. I, uh, my channel along with uh, a handful of others are taking part in hashtag happy male movement. It is the brainchild of Kim Newberg and um, those of us that are taking part have also I believe each done sort of an intro uh, video on our own channels, kind of, um, you know, declaring to the world that we're taking part and uh, inviting people to send us um, happy mail that sort of complies with the rules. <clears throat> this is the sheet, the cheat sheet that I sort of created. Hopefully that's all readable. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So basically, um, very simple, make an envelope. And I mean, who hasn't done that before? Um, in Canada, the rules are that it must be no bigger than six and an eighth by 11 inches in size. Put some goodies into it. And what I've noticed, both with what I've sent out and, and uh, the other videos that I've seen of people receiving these envelopes, is that it seems to be a mix of supply type items like stickers and ephemera and um, journaling, you know, bits of um, scrapbooking paper, as well as some handmade items. Now, uh, we all have millions of things to choose from. The only thing is that the whole idea here is that we limit it to one first class stamp. And um, that means keeping the weight under 30 grams. And of course, it also has to be skinny enough to slide through that acrylic um, slot gizmo thing that the post office has. Now, I googled... And you know, Mr. Google isn't usually wrong. So maybe it's my fault. Maybe my question wasn't clear enough. I Googled um, first class envelope like US. And the information I got is that it could weigh between 30 and 50 grams. Well, uh-uh, uh-uh. I took um, an envelope to the post office today and discovered that, no, I was about, you know, I was into the, I was over 30 and into the next, um, whatever. Long story short, she had to pull out the big binder and then actually found a, um, um, a cheat sheet, sort of, that says, in order to, for us as Canadians to uh, just use a dollar thirty stamp, we need to, the weight needs to be under 30 grams. So same rules. So I need to get rid of that. So um, if you're taking part in this, and I hope you do, mail such an envelope to me and or any other participating channel host. And there's no limit to how many you send out or how many times you send this out. Um, this is my mailing address, and I've also said that you'll receive an envelope in return and happiness will ensue. And in my particular case, I'm just limiting it to Canada and the U.S. I think uh, Kim and, well, I don't know, I shouldn't speak for him. I know for sure Kim is sort of doing worldwide. Now, Kim had a good idea in that... Um, as she carefully opened, she's opening the envelopes carefully uh, so that she could eventually sew them into a journal. And I think that's a heck of an idea, as well as keeping the contents with the envelope so it can be used either to decorate the page or, you know, whatever. I guess that's to be determined by, by the recipient. So I need to fix my US one because... Um, I'm playing by the rules. And unfortunately, the this particular post office, which is a very, I, I mean, my post office 
is in a village of less than five, uh, 400 people, around 400 people. So um, they don't have the, the whatever, you know, all the little loose stamps to make up the difference. So she printed a machine label and that is not what is requested. Um, I've also known one of my envelopes that I was sending out got hung up on uh, when they were putting it through the slot. So what I'm going to do from now on is forget using um, glue stick. Any embellishments I use on my envelope will um, be done with um, art glitter glue because we know that there will be no peeling corners. So I was, we hadn't been to the post office yet this week, so I was very pleasantly surprised. Oh, I was supposed to be covering addresses. Very pleasantly surprised um, to find four of these in the mail. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so well, I can show you Kim's because, of course, she has declared her address uh, to the world. So it's a beautifully decorated envelope. She's even done some stitching on there. It's, uh, there's what I, no, that's probably paper. On the back, I thought, oh, I should try to get into this and, and save your time. But um, I started peeling back this washi tape and it looks like that's, I'm going to be able to do that without, oops, without any damage. But I have my trusty little knife here if I do need to uh, slit my wrist. Um, so, Kim, I think this is a heck of an idea. The only other mail we got was uh, flyers and um, bank statements. Oh, this is let go. But that's fine. Um, a person will be opening it up to... Well, maybe I shouldn't bother doing it because I can put these items back in there. So, yeah, this is beautiful. And you can, I guess that the the answer here, too, is that sometimes when I was selecting papers to make my envelopes, I, I was trying to pick papers that were interesting or, um, you know, where, how do you fold it so the beautiful part is showing. But this goes to show that you can pick something that, you that would be unattractive not saying that this is unattractive but i mean it's it's clearly a yellow base here and it, i guess that's probably a floral of some sort but another way to to use a, a heavier weight paper which is probably preferable to what i've done for some of mine is to just plaster it with with images digitals and 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 so on so i think that uh I'm going to be altering what I do a bit. I thought that using some of the oversized old um, magazines, and especially if they were foreign language, that that would be a treat for some people who haven't seen that sort of thing before. So this is a, a is a cute little pile in it, and it just goes to show that even with heavier paper, you can get a lot of goodies. So let's see what she sent me. So these are, well, I don't know if, they almost feel like they could be stickers. Yeah, they almost seem like they're gummed. So that's very cute. These are some digitals that she has cut around. <laughs> Here is... Well, this is a like a photocopy of uh, an old photo. And, hey, Prairie Kid can identify with that guy in those overalls. Yeah, that's cute. Um, oh, a fancy dancey. Whoops. Oh, 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 I love this. This Ukrainian kid loves this. Autobuse. So, um, like it's a, a transit ticket. Now, I am the talk ticket. Um, I 
I'm going to assume that this is, in fact, Russian, although it says Ukraine. Yeah, we don't have, there isn't enough time in the world for me to read all that because my reading is poor. Poor, poor, poor. This is very pretty. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, oh, yeah, see, she did the same thing that I did when I sent happy mail to someone. I, I took the back layers off. We will do anything to save <laughs> some, some thickness. And here's a little digital as well. And this is, okay, so she's used book page. There's room to journal at the back. Okay, sticker, handmade paper. Don't think this opens, but it's just beautiful in it and on its own. Thank you so much, Kim. <clears throat> Let me keep this intact. I'll put it back in this envelope and we'll dig into the others. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. I should. I was going to use this to cover people's addresses. Nikki Black. Now, I keep seeing her name, but honestly, I don't... Nikki, am I have a, um, am I losing my mind? Have you are you a subscriber? Are you someone who's commented? Um, why 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 why? Am I? Uh, well, clue me in. <laughs> clue me in. That is the danger <clears throat> with washi tape. I know that. <clears throat> excuse me. I glued all of mine down because washi tape is notoriously unreliable. This envelope is gorgeous. Okay, I'm ripping, so I'd better finesse this a little better. So she's used dye, um, coffee dyed music paper and no, I can't tell. Looks like she print, I would say she printed on it, like r ran it through her printer with this lovely watercolory look to the, and then splattered it. I never think of splattering anything. The heck, I can splatter too. Okay, let's dig in and see what we have here. Oh, so I don't know. Oh, I'll try to hold this up so you can see that inside. Oh, and that's really clever because when this. Okay, let's just practice on this one. I know I should probably do it here. That's more like the natural fold. God, is my blade that dull? I'm going to blame it on this god-awful cold sore that I have. I mentioned it in a recent video. Well, I just came back from filling, whoa. Came back from filling a prescription. Did you know that that um, using uh, a Breva, which the pharmacist told me is almost useless, uh, from 2019, <laughs> that expired in 2019, was not a good strategy. And my Zovarax cream that expired in June of this year was probably just a placebo effect, you know, like, oh yeah, it made me feel good because I was using it, but, oh, I kind of, I'll have to trim that. But look, because she decorated inside, when this becomes a journal page, it's half the, half the work is done for you. Um... 
Anyway, so I got a bit of an education about cold sores. This is epic. This is so cute. Oh. <laughs> well, okay, so she's included a stamp and her address. Like, well, that's very thoughtful. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's really nice, but. <laughs> the, oh, that's a sticker. That is so cute. And I'll use your stamp and your uh, address. Okay, what have we got here? This is a digital. Who doesn't love a bathing suit scene? A dapper couple. This is sweet. And look, she was able to use some corrugated cardboard and those buttons and it and it made it through the yeah she just used one stamp and it made it and lace lovely okay these are I can't tell now are these They must be stickers. I'm thinking that they're stickers. They kind of have that, that feel. Oh, those are sweet. Purple, my color. That is so nice. More purple. Hey, I think this is that she's done the design. Cool. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Look at that little munchkin. Yes, babies in the 50s always wore matching coats and hats if they went out on the sidewalk. That is sweet. Look at that sidewalk. It's like two by sixes or two by tens. Hmm. I love this stuff. And Nikki, I'm going to get to the bottom of of uh, of what our connection is, and I I very much appreciate the stuff that you have sent me. And of course, there will be um, an envelope going back your way. Love this, and maybe in the comments you can tell me this. Honestly, I'm mesmerized by this. <clears throat> Love it. Okay, onward. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, again, this one is from Brenda Clark, who I just discovered uh, is uh, also an Albertan. Oh, she used a page out of Somerset Studio magazine. We know that those pages are lovely. You know what? I think I should just be a little smarter about this and maybe do a nice skinny little cut at the side. Hope this isn't a mistake. Just a hair's width. So now I can, okay, I don't, I can safely open this now. So, yes, I discovered that Brenda lives about an hour and a half away from me. And um, I've reached out to her through email saying, hey, the next time I'm in your town... Can we meet for coffee? Because, you know, as much as uh, YouTube relationships are nice and they make the world so small. 
See, when you pick up pretty paper, the decorating is sort of done for you, isn't it? And look at the inside. That's cool, too. Um, let's see what she sent. Uh, as much as that's all very nice, it is also nice to lay eyes on and maybe a hug or a handshake uh, like onto somebody living and breathing. <laughs> this is nice. This is nice. So she, oh, this is cool. So scrapbooking paper, a fairly thick, uh, like die, um, yeah, die cut em embellishment. Two pock, three pockets. <laughs> Cutest little stuff in the corner here. <laughs> oh, and Brenda, I watched your video today uh, where you opened the envelope for me. Those little cards that you were looking at are tea cards. Um, I Well, and I've said as much in the comments. But basically, I know that when I first got into junk journaling, I'd see people talking about tea cards and coffee cards and, and uh, cigarette cards. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, those are so beautiful. They're like little miniature works of art. How can, how, how, how can I get some? And, uh, well, it's, as with most things, <laughs> you can buy them eventually. So, yeah, I bought um, an auction lot of them, and I'm trying. I put some in my um, Etsy shop, but I'm also trying very hard to share them and not hoard them. So these are all very cute little um, ephemera-type pieces. And got to love this guy. Thank you, Brenda. Okay, now this one does not have a return address on it. So that's kind of mysterious. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to just slit it open. So you can see four envelopes, four different approaches, four different... Uh, colors or not colors but styles is this some kind of a mystery i have to cut this open there is something okay if i let's make let's try to do this properly that opens on that side I should have probably opened this on my own so that I don't embarrass myself. I'm thinking that I should op I should cut this open. I hope this isn't anonymous. Because that doesn't allow me to return the... Anyway, let's admire this envelope. Okay, so there's a black swan. There's a frog that's been attached to it. Little bits of decoration. Is that... That M was put on with gel pen. That might be a, a clue of some sort. Here's an A. Huh. Okay. Let's see what we have inside. So inside is this pocket that has been sewn on. I wonder if that's like a photo sleeve. Okay, so this is a pocket that, whoops, I'm in the wrong compartment. Let's 
So scrapbooking paper, two clear pockets. Oh, somebody is being very mysterious. This is cool. These are perforated little... <laughs> That's cute. Vellum sticker. Some stamped... Um, labels, I guess, in the uh, on this uh, stuff that a person used to feed through those machines. So that's vintage. Some digital tabs. A little teeny tiny booklet with book page and a little garden image. Yeah. Ah, okay, so there is an address in here. Well, um, Barbara, <coughs> this, <laughs> if you were trying to keep me guessing till the very last moment, you definitely succeeded. So thanks for making that a bit of a, a, a treasure hunt. I will, um, <laughs> I'll be happy to, uh, to send you and, and the other people an envelope in, um, in return. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for, um, you know, indulging this, <laughs> this little, uh, this, this thing. And I really, I mean, it's fun. It's mysterious. It's, in some cases, it's a head scratcher because you're trying to figure, okay, well, what is, well, how did they do that? What is it? Um, so would you rather get this or would you rather get, uh, you know, a credit card state? I really encourage you to take part in the happy mail movement and, uh, Anyway, I can't keep smiling so broadly because my cold sore is going to crack. But um, anyway, thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.